Now live. I am now live. I won't be live. I mean, I'm going to be live for long. I got another 30 years or so left on this planet, God willing, as I like to say. Uh, but I won't be going live to you very long. I did want to hop on uh, this morning. It's about 8.15 where I am in Wyoming. And I am somewhere about halfway between Casper, Wyoming and Shoshone. And a lot of people were asking me on this morning's call, what do I think of Wyoming? And I said, it's fairly barren. And I don't think people realize just how barren Wyoming really is. It's amazing. I'm at a rest area. And again, I'm right in the middle of Wyoming. And I've been through Casper, which is a town of about 50,000 yeah, 50, people. But that's one of the biggest cities in Wyoming, as far as I know. I mean, I guess there's Cheyenne and maybe Cody. I don't know what the population of those is. But holy smokes! It's a windy uh, morning. The sun is shining. The temperature is cold. There's my scooter. It's waiting, calling me, uh, begging me to get back on my bike and continue my ride up to uh, Montana on the day. I have about just under 300 miles left to go. Uh, if you can hear the wind howling, you probably can a little bit. And uh, the last 250 miles or so is through the mountains. So I'm a little nervous. What kind of tunes are we listening to on the ride? Good to see it's not raining. You're right about that, Trey. Uh, I am not listening to music today. With all the wind I'm having, I've been playing a lot of music, playing my playlist. A, I was getting sick of the songs. And B, I, uh, between the wind noise and the sound of the uh, music, it was almost more stress than it was worth. So I've been going in relative silence, but it's not silence. Uh, the wind is uh, loud and thudding, and it just feels so nice to stop and stand and stretch my back and legs for a little bit uh, here in the center of Wyoming. I thought Wyoming would be all mountains. I guess I'm glad it's not, because mountains are tough to ride through. But uh, I can't tell you, on the drive from Chicago to where I'm at right now, how few people and how few towns I have seen. It is, there's a lot of room out here uh, west of the Mississippi and uh, homes and towns and people are few and far between. And uh, do you have a phone mount on your scooter? No, I don't have a phone mount on my scooter. I uh, put my uh, phone in my pocket and have the uh, map lady telling me uh, which direction I need to go. Uh, but right now, I got to go 50 more miles this way to Shoshone. I want to get there uh, before uh, 9.30 my time. Uh, 10.30, probably most of your guys' time. Uh, but I did want to thank you uh, for watching and following along in my journey. Wanted to show you... Wyoming one more time, and uh, here it gets prettier down the road, so looking forward to that. Is this a possible for every place you to live? Don't ask me such huge questions. Can you just sell me some lunch? You sure can. My phone number is 630-697-0536 if you really want to sell me some lunch. Uh, and also the, uh, I think the uh, Venmo link might be on my uh, Instagram page. I'm not totally sure. But I think it's hashtag coffee with Ken. Something like that. I think that's there. Uh, but I appreciate uh, you uh, offering. And uh, don't know if I'm going to have time to stop for lunch. I got to make some tracks and get through those mountains. And I got a long way to go. Uh, but I do appreciate the offer. I really do. So uh, thank you for saying that. And thank you all for joining I appreciate you. It's about 45, 46, 47 degrees. Feels a lot warmer than yesterday when it was cloudy and 43 and rainy. Uh, 
697-0536. That's my cell number. <laughs> I'd like to say I'm going to get a million people calling me and texting me. Uh, a lot of people would be shy about giving out their phone number, but I was a realtor for 17 years, and I plastered it everywhere I could. Uh, plastered my phone number anywhere I could, hoping somebody would call me looking to move. And uh, maybe if more people called me uh, looking to move, I'd still be a realtor and I wouldn't be riding my scooter. There it is. There she is. Uh, uh, from Chicago to Montana. Again, I'll give you the number one more time. 630-697-0536. And it's hashtag coffee with Ken for Venmo if anybody wants to send me lunch. So I appreciate your offer. Uh, but again, uh, uh, I just appreciate your offer. Thanks so much in schooling to become a realtor i just laughed out loud well good luck with that in his link tree on his instagram he has his venvo information thank you rj for hopping on i appreciate it. rj's my man do you if any of you guys have ever seen like apollo 13 or know anything about nasa uh rj's my man he's houston for me he's my home base and gives me um uh, updates on the weather and on the distance and what have you. And I don't think I could do it without RJ and his motivation. Because every morning I go, I like this morning, I was woke up at 3.40 and I was really scared. And I still am scared. I'm terrified. I'm terrified every mile. And he goes, oh, you can do it. Just chip away at it. Just chip away at it. And uh, appreciate his encouragement and his uh, uh, inspiration, motivation, and kicking my ass to get me out there. Otherwise, I'd probably still be laying in the fetal position in Naperville going, help me, help me. But uh, anyway, I got to get back on the road because I want to get to Shoshone uh, in an hour, within uh, by 930 my time. I want to thank you guys so much for joining from lovely Wyoming. And uh, I hope you're having a wonderful morning. Hope you're feeling good. Hope you're loving yourself. Uh, hope that you're forgiving yourself. And as always, I uh, hope to talk to you soon. Bye-bye.